Hello everybody. Today I'm going to try to attempt to remove my Vanos unit because I broke one of the studs and I need to clean out those Vanos. Well basically that's what we're going to work on. Yeah. is it's almost like VTEC same thing for like Honda's as it is for BMW's it increases the pressure for the oil I'm assuming to the best of my knowledge so this is what we're gonna work with today BMW 2.5 engine M54 um, the Vandals unit is here in the front right on the side of the cylinder head I'm gonna have to start off by taking off the cabin filter and whatnot because I have to get into the uh, valve cover right here. Take all this off, take this plastic off, and then I'm gonna have to, I will be able to access this. And I also have to take the air box duct out of the way so I could get to the fan. This is the fan right here. So first what I'm gonna do is remove these clips by just twisting left this is the way that they come out you have three one two three one right there just pull up right up cat an air filter okay now we have four t27 torque screws I'm gonna try to work on this right here because it has these little tabs. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. I can remove these cables from being in the way with connected to this thing that holds the air filter. So take that off. When you take that off, you got your cables coming out. The one coming from below it is the power. And this one, I believe it goes to the computer from the spark plugs. Move this out of the way. Now you have access to this. Just pull up, comes out. Then, if you're lucky enough, you'll have these little tabs on both of the valve covers. And if you don't, you'll have it looking like that. And then you can see your screw. It's a 10 millimeter screw on one, two, three, four. Now, so I'm gonna remove the oil cap. Remove that, yuck. Just pull that off the top, close it back up, done. You should have three clips. If you do, you're lucky. So all you do is get some needle nose, and I pull those off, pry those three off, and you should be able to take it out from the air duct. So now, if you have two screws, but I only have one, they're T-Torque screws. So since I have an automatic fan, I don't need to remove the fan from the fan clutch. So it's just easy as to remove these two screws on top, and then remove this clip. If you have a manual fan clutch, 
you're gonna have to use the tools to remove that. You have to get those before you can take this off. Try to remove this clip because it gets in the way of removing your, your fangs. When you come to pull it out, it gets in the way. So connection to the, the Vanos unit or the can chap for position sensor, my bad. So I just pull that out easy like that. Put it to the side. So it's not in the way of the fan. Yeah, it's just pulling up. So now I'm going to be working on the valve cover. I'm going to rem start by removing all the, the bolts on the ignition coil packs. Which are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. There's 10, well, 12 10 millimeter screws. And then you got the small ones, which are inside right there. Those are 8, 2, and 3. There's one all the way in the back. Lift this gray piece on the coil pack up and the cable should just pry out back. This should be all the way up high and you should be able to just pop them out. I'm gonna do the same to all the other ones. So now that those are out, I'm gonna remove the eight millimeter bolts, which like I said, they hold the little wires that go onto the coil packs I think they're the ground, and then this one is the ground as well, I think, I'm not sure. So there's one right here, one right here, and then one in the back. Now I'll be removing the 15 bolts that have the little grommets on them. There's 15 of them. There's four in the middle, 11 on the outside. If you have trouble getting to the those two nuts in the back, use a knuckle and a deep socket 10 millimeter. Okay, so before you get to this part, this part gets really oily and tends to uh, leak a lot of oil, so you wanna have some paper towels, something very absorbent. And almost before I forget, make sure you take the crankcase, ventilating, great. That's not a good sign. Gunky Milky Way mayonnaise. Well, anywho, we're gonna just pull up the back and the front. Tugging on that. So take your gaskets out if you're gonna reuse them, which I am, because I didn't, I just recently replaced it, so there's no need to put a new one. These uh, clips come off. Just start prying it one by one. There we go. One 
that aside. You should be able to take your valve cover out of there. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off by removing the solenoid clips, connectors. Which one right there. And then there's one back here. Right there, this big little metal thing. So I'm gonna take this bolt off first for the oil feed to the van nose. And I think there's six screws. There's one, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. This one up here for the bracket. Um, the one I broke is right underneath the van nose itself. And I'll start doing that first. So take this connector off. come out put the rag there Okay, so now I'm going to remove these bolts, these uh, eight millimeter hex bolts, well, Allen, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use a bigger wrench because these have a lot of power to them. Ah, shoot. Woo. I don't know if I want to take that out yet. It leaks a lot of oil. So make sure you use a big bar, big boy bar to take these out because then you won't be able to Holy shit, even this came off. What the fuck? There we go. Just can't believe that got stuck in there though. Duralast, you suck. Be ready to get a lot of oil drippings right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these little plastic container clips, just use a needle nose pliers. There are two Allen screws in the back that I need to remove, but these are reverse thread, so make sure when you're digging them out, you don't go the, oh wait, there's star, never mind. So instead of left, you go right. Star bolts. You have to tighten them instead of loosening them because if you go the opposite way, you'll just snap them in. That wouldn't be a good thing. Yeah, star, reverse thread. Okay, there we go. Take that one off. Don't forget that. And this guy should most likely come out. There we go. Ah, oh, shoot, don't. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna remove the gasket that holds the Vanos unit in place. Which I got a new one. So the problem I had with my car, not necessarily anything to do with the Vanos, but the screws um, but this is mainly the big process you have to do to change your seals on your vanos or just clean out the solenoids but what I need to do is replace these this stud right here that I snapped you can see it is very smaller than the other ones so I was having an oil leak because of this don't 
don't do it like me, don't hide, hand tighten it. Lesson learned. There we go, there's that stud. But that's comparing it to size. Wow. Well, so now with this, the problem is, I'm not sure how much I need to tighten it. Since I don't have anything else to tighten it to go in anymore. I guess I just have to thread it on by putting it on. So I'm gonna attempt to remove the solenoids. I'm just going to clean these two with throttle body cleaner. So I didn't get to finish the rest of the video but everything else is pretty straightforward. You have to clean out both solenoids of the vanos, make sure you put everything back together as well as the gasket and then you put the vanos back on. I replaced all the little bits and parts as well as the screws that go on the vanos unit and make sure you also replace your valve cover if you need to I replaced the grommets for the screws on the valve cover but yeah I hope everybody enjoys this video hope I helped you out if not nothing maybe a little bit maybe somebody learns from something I sure did I never worked on BMWs but I hope somebody actually got some help from this so toodles hope you guys like share and subscribe see you guys later